In 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14, the Bible says, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And yes, we are an old-fashioned Baptist church. We are an old-fashioned uh, group of believers here. You say, oh, that, that sounds, you know, oh, younger women marry, bear children, guide the house. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Don't you know that this is 2018? Don't you know that, that men and women are both should be going off to work and, and you put your child in daycare and you go and do all this other stuff? No, that's not what the world does. This is not the way that God designed things. God designed men and women. And I know it's going to come as a shock to you, but God designed men and women differently. <laughs> it, it, it's... it's it's radical, I know. It's just as radical as you wouldn't want to be married to someone. Of this, you're like, I don't want to be married to a man. I don't want someone who's exactly like me. I'm, I thank God for making women Amen. to be feminine, to be women, Amen. to be who they are, the, who God created them to be. And thank God that God made men to be men and to be the way that he created men to be. There's differences Men are stronger than women. I'm sorry. That's a fact of nature. You can't change that. That's the way that God made us. Women are very nurturing and very caring, and they're excellent at dealing with children and being multitasking and doing all kinds of... You know, both men and women both have very good, strong points that they're better suited to do. And if we're going to put aside the political correctness nonsense and the philosophies of this world and get our minds into God's word and see the way that God has designed us to be, you're going to be happier in your life when you follow the roles that God has given you. And when the Bible says, I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, which means you have children, and you guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully, this is one of the things, this is God's will for your life. Younger women, this is what God wants you to do. Get married. Have kids. Have a family. Raise those kids. That's a big investment. Look, children are the future. Children are important. They're not a burden. They're not a nuisance. And they shouldn't be, be viewed as such. Don't be so focused on your career and all these other aspirations you want to have. Let your husband do that. Let your husband make the money. Let your husband go and sweat by the work of his brow and provide for you so that you can do really the most important job of raising your own children, to be godly children, to love the Lord and to carry this generation forward and not neglect them and just leave them to their own devices or leave them for somebody else to raise, someone else who may not have the same morals and values and principles that you have. Treat them with utmost... This is, this is a, a big job. People want to say, oh, you're demeaning to women because you're saying you just want women to stay at home and raise kids and, and cook food. You know, how is that demeaning? Seriously, how is that demeaning? Does that mean because, because they're not a man, because they're not filling a man's role, that just means they're demeaning? You know, the feminist movement these days, it's, it, it's, it's weird because they're the ones that's putting more value on the man's job than, than regular men are doing. I value my wife. I love my wife. I am so thankful that my wife has the job that she has. Our family wouldn't work nearly as good as it does if she wasn't doing her job while I'm doing a different job. We could focus on our own jobs. And both are very important. It's very important for me to be able to provide for my family and to work hard and to get things done. And it's very important for her to, to raise our children and to make sure that the house is being kept in order while I'm gone. These things are very important and we need to, to understand our roles and we understand our roles and what God wants for our life. Again, it's going to bring us more joy. It's going to bring us more peace because we'll be walking in the will of God for our lives. And we want to find somebody, you want to find somebody if you're single that looks to Scripture the same way, that looks to Scripture and just says, I want to be the best husband or I want to be the best wife that I can be because I want my marriage to work and I want to find somebody else who shares that same value 